Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have psychic and we have nature spirits. You could be aware of energies that are around you. Let me get something with this. Number 48, number 12, number 39, number 12 again. Okay, number three, definitely. Let me get something with this. We have the ace of pentacles. There could be some type of proof. You got some type of... You got something that's manifested. It's something here that's real. Okay. It's not imaginary. So we got psychic. We got nature spirits. And we got the ace of pentacles. We have something that has materialized. What's here with this energy? We have the ten of wands energy. Let me get something with this ten of wands. Now what is this? We have the strength. Damn. Damn. What is going on here? Did some type of spirit show you something? Did something happen around you? And you are like, what the hell was that? Or something, I don't know what I'm about to say, blew up. <laughs> something blew up around you. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have Leo energy here. This is too funny. The Ace of Pentacles and then the Ten of Wands. It's making me feel like something blew up. It's making me feel like something happened or so, something crazy as hell or some type of fire or something happened. It's a sign. It's a sign from your spirits. OK, you're not tripping. Look, let me get something here with this. We have the chariot here. Wow. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, this shit is not a game. I don't know what this Ace of Pentacles is for everybody, but after this Ace of Pentacles, it looked like all hell broke loose. The Ten of Wands, the strength card, the strength card, for real. And the chariot cannot be stopped. So whatever this is, this shit is hell on wheels. What is this? <laughs> what is going on here? We have Leo and we have Cancer Energy. We have the judgment here. Oh my goodness. Let me get something with judgment. And then the world card. Judgment in the world card is the last two major arcana. And they came out in a row. Judgment and then the world. I don't know. This Ace of Pentacles, I need some of that. <laughs> Whatever that shit is right there. Oh my God. And we got the King of Pentacles here. The king of pentacles. And you got the... Okay, let me get one more here. What's here with this? And we got the empress. The empress, which is more earth energy here. You have Libra and Taurus. You got Capricorn. You got Cancer. Leo. What's... The, yeah, it's the king of pentacles here. What in the world? What the hell is this? Was, okay, if I wasn't looking... At these two cards up here, the psychic and the nature spirits, right? If I wasn't looking at those two cards, I would still say that whatever this is right here, this shit is not going to play no fucking games. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, it's about to take somebody all the way. I don't think he, people hear what I'm saying. You have one, two, three, four, five major arcana in a seven card spread. The only two that's not major arcana is these two. I'm not even looking at the card that's on the bottom of the deck because that's a court card. That's King of Pentacles. So we already know something about money. It's something about maybe an earth sign perhaps, but it's definitely something about some money, something about some resources, something about something physical, physical, like this table and these cards, okay? Physical. This right here, whatever this is, it's not a game. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands is like, okay, if we got earth and we got that much fire, that shit is, I don't even know how to explain it. Whatever this is could set everything on fire. 
I hope I'm saying this shit right, okay? And plus, you got to read between the lines because I don't know everybody's situation, but I know this energy. And this energy right here, this is like a idol. I don't know what it is. It Okay, how can I say this? Let's say this was like a physical... Um, May, I don't know, like, oh, if you had a song, like, let's say you had a song. Oh, my fucking goodness, that's perfect. If you had a song and I said, oh, my goodness, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, it's going to be your money maker. And then the Ten of Wands came out. I'd be like, oh, my God, your fucking song is going to hit it big. Your fucking song is going to set the world on fire type shit. OK, you got to read between the lines. But the shit is right here. Let me get something here with this. I can't believe you got all these major arcana. The strength, the chariot, judgment, the world, the empress. I literally almost want to just stop with this because this shit right here is serious. If you got all these major arcana in a row after this ace of pentacles, it's something. I don't know who this is for, but you got something here. You got something. It's real. And then for psychic and the nature spirits to come out before all of this, it's letting me know you got something around you. I don't know if you're aware of it. I don't know if you know. I don't know. You need to know. It's something here that happened to let you know. It's something here that happened to let you know that you got that something. You got it. You have it. Or when you get it, you're going to know you got it. Oh, you're going to know it was given to you. Are you going to know that this shit is going to go from, you know how fire spreads? You know, you could have one one little match could turn the whole forest into nothing, to ashes. Okay, you got to read between the lines. What is this here with this Ace of Pentacles? Damn, these cards are powerful. That Ace of Pentacles is the motherfucking bomb. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? I don't know who it is. It might not be for everybody, but I don't know. That Ace of Pentacles is the motherfucking bomb. And you got some type of proof or you got some type of message. You got something from beyond because it says psychic. I know something is connecting with you because these circles is connecting. And there's something there in the middle that you share. And then it says nature spirits. I can't even talk. What's here with this Ace of Pentacles? We have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups can be a creator. The King of Cups can be somebody that's developing relationship with something. Developing a relationship with somebody or something. Connecting something. Let me get something here with this shit. They could be psychic. What is this here with this? But really, it could be something creative because the the water and the earth energy coming together and the court card is a water. It makes me feel like this is an artist that's making something or you got something within that's about to be on the outside. And that shit is going to be a ten of wands energy. It's going to be strong as fuck. What is this here? We have the Queen of Cups. I'm about to throw these damn cards, man. And they're looking at each other. They're looking at each other. They're facing each other. I hope y'all see that. They're facing each other. And they're coming out together. So what is this about to do together? Somebody about to set this shit on fire. Together. But in a good way. Like this is unstoppable. Is this like a duo? Y'all about to know. Y'all about to fucking know. You know, like, they're okay, I've seen sometimes when people get, like, let's say famous, right? They get famous, and it's like a shock, right? And it's like, it's a shift because people start treating them differently. They look at them differently. They refer to them differently. All of a sudden, now your life is on the front of everything, you know? I'm seeing that for somebody. Two people. Could be two water sign. Could be two artists too psychic too into it's something here with the 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 water of a person that water okay that other side the spiritual it's like someone has contact with that and what they make is going to bring something into this world that's not currently here right now it might be on the other side but it's something here is coming through it's going to come through and when it comes through it's going to come the fuck through. I'm not even playing. It went all the way to judgment, the world card, and right on the other side of the world is the Empress. So it's something here, the Empress and the King of Pentacles. So it's something here. What's here with this? And we got the Nine of Cups. I'm almost about to say, shit, these are the spirits right here. A damn near about to say it, the way these cups is coming out. 
Because, I mean, damn, we need somebody to connect to. I want to really say that these are the spirits. I almost want to say these are not even the people. <laughs> or if maybe there is one, that's, maybe it's the King of Cups or the Queen, but one of these are connected to the spirit. Or they are in spirit. It's like a relationship, but maybe one of them are not manifest. I don't know if people understand what I'm saying. The cups represent the soul. Okay? They're, the soul is a thing regardless of the body. They're not independent on each other. You, Like, that's how we can contact people that have passed on. Because they still have a soul. They just don't got a body. And I feel like one of these characters right here is the one that's on the other side. And they have it's all the spirits is over there. Like, I'm dead ass serious. It's even giving me, giving me the energy. Like, if I was to read this more down to earth, I would say that whoever this Queen of Cups is, they're going to love the shit out of this King of Cups. Because the Queen and King of Cups, they're looking at each other. But behind the Queen of Cups is the Nine of Cups. She's going to love the freak out of this damn King of Cups. Like, this energy is so good. What is this energy here with this chariot? We have the four of cups energy like it is giving me the spirits. It's like you're it's somebody sitting there looking at those other cups, but they don't see the one that's right there. That is what this psychic and this nature spirit is about. Look where he's sitting under a damn tree. I'm dead ass serious, y'all. I can't even believe how this shit is coming out here like this. It's all cups down here. You got all cups down here. You got all these major arcanas up here. This is some shit that don't happen every day. It really doesn't. We have the four pentacles. That is the first pentacle to come out in this whole entire row. And as a matter of fact, in this whole reading, the only other pentacles in this reading is that ace of pentacles and this king of pentacles that's at the bottom. This is somebody that's going to be made. This is somebody that's not going to have to worry about some shit. You see how they sitting on them pinnacles? You see they got the city and shit behind them or whatever they built? It's back there and it's underneath the judgment card. It's something here, man. I just feel like somebody's going to be real solid. They're going to be good. They're going to be good. It's something here. I feel like your spirits are going to do something. They're going to send you a message. They're going to do something. I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. They're going to show you their presence. And when you get that message and then you get this message, then you'll know it's time to do something. You'll know. Let me get something here because they're going to let you know. It's going to be something that happens. Look, we got the Page of Pentacles and it's going to sit right here with the World card. It's something here. It has to be planted. You got the seed in your hand, right? You got the seed right here. This is the Ace of Pentacles. But the Page of Pentacles is the one that plants it. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles is just, it's representing that God is giving it to you. But the Page of Pentacles is actually holding it and about to plant it. The difference between, let's say, this Page of Pentacles energy and that King of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles has been planted, that shit. The King of Pentacles planted that shit so long ago, he got trees and bushes and all types of shit. He got, he got all the fruits of all the damn trees. He got wine at this point. Okay, fuck a grape. He got wine. Okay, he got apple cider out here. It's not... He's well beyond the damn tree, the apple falling from the tree. He's enjoying the fruits. The Page of Pentacles has not planted it yet. The Page of Pentacles is falling on top of the world card. You're going to know. You're going to know that it's time to do this shit. You're going to know it's time to move. You're going to know it's time to start this shit up. Because I'm telling you, when this shit hits you, it's like almost, I almost feel like it's a fucking comet. It's a comet. It's an asteroid coming into somebody's life with this damn Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. It's an asteroid that's coming into your life. It's going to hit something and you're going to be looking like, what the fuck is going on? What is going on? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? This ain't got nothing to do with no fucking witchcraft. This is something here where spirit is going to let you know that they right the fuck there with you. I can't even believe how the energy is coming across. This is probably the first sword that come out and it's the Ten of Damn Sword. And I'm not even getting something bad with this Ten of Sword. I'm getting more so something is going to be so true, it's going to be deadly. That's what I'm getting with the Ten of Sword. Something is going to be so true, it's going to be so factual, it's going to be so out there, it's going to be... <laughs> the inform It's like the Ten of Sword is the equivalent of like knowing all of the information you need to know. Like you know so fucking much that you could kill somebody with the shit. Okay, that's like a scientist that know everything about, I don't know, chemistry and physics and every damn thing. 
Okay, like somebody's knowledge is killer. That's what I'm getting. Like this shit, this shit could kill somebody's men mentally, but not in a bad way. <laughs> like in a good look, this shit is crazy. This whole energy right here, I can't even believe. Look, and then the three of wands is at the bottom. I can't even believe this is the only cards I have out here right now. I done went off on just these cards. I usually fill this whole table up, but it was something about that Ace of Pentacles falling out and then that 10 of Wands, oh my God. And then when I finally noticed that all those Major Arcana was there, Lord, we have the Three of Sword energy. Let me get something with this. Now the Swords wanna come out. So what is this? It's some type of truth here with this, this King of Cups. There's some type of truth. Cause it's going to look, on some real shit, it might even be something that when you plant this seed, somebody around you might pass away. I'm not even trying to be funny or no shit like that. It might be a parent figure, a mentor. I don't know. But I'm like literally getting that because it's something here. When you're given the power, it's done for somebody. That might not be for everybody, but I saw that energy. Let me get something here with this Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups? We have the Two of Pentacles energy here. So what is this? What is this exchange? What is this? Let me get something here with this. We have the tower. I mean, damn. I need to get the rest of these cards out here, but from what I'm seeing right now, this three of sword, it literally leads to a tower. Like whatever it went, I see the ace of pentacles right here. I see this two of pentacles right here it develops into something shocking. And then after the two of pentacles, I see, I see the four. I don't even need to see the three. The four is even better than that. The four is like solid earth energy. And this shit is shocking. I don't know how it's giving me like a lot is I'm getting fire. I'm getting like some type of disaster might fucking happen. Something crazy, but you won't be the one that's affected. It's something to let you know. Oh my God, this reading might not be for everybody. It's something to let you know that something has kicked in or you got the, the key or you have the, the strength or you have the power or you have the something. They're letting you know, hey, we, we sent it to you. You just got it. <laughs> like for somebody, man. What is this card here? We have the three of pentacles. Wasn't I just, the, and I said, I don't even need three of pentacles because I got the four and we still got the three. It's still something here that's completely solid. It's still something here where y'all are going to work together. Y'all going to be close. Y'all going to be friendly. If y'all are artists, y'all going to be collabing like shit. Y'all going to be on some, man, this is crazy right here. And then I'm looking at these three of pentacles and I see this is the four of cups, but in the card, it shows three cups that are standing. So this three of pentacles, it's like the physical thing that this person is looking at, but this fourth cup that's coming out the sky, I'm telling you, it's something about the spirits that's around you, man. I don't know, how, I don't know how else to see it. I don't know how else to say it because it's not for everybody. I wish it was, but it's something here. You got a serious spirit. Let me get something here. I just can't believe how this is coming out. We got the queen of sword. Let me get something with this. Somebody here with some type of serious authority, like what they say. And then we got the Ace of Cups here. What they say could change everything. Whoever this Queen of Sword is, is something about the verbal, the communication, the delivery. What they say could change everything. What's here with this Ten of Sword? And that's funny. I'm about to clarify the Ten of Sword. So somebody is definitely going to get either a mouthful. Oh, my God. Ooh, you've been given something very serious. This is the devil card right here. You've been given something very serious to defeat this energy. This is the reason why you've been giving it. You've been given it to defeat some type of enemy. That is why that ten of sword is there. Ooh, child. And what's this at the bottom? The nine of sword. Oh my God. You have a very, or whoever this is, if you don't already have it, you're about to have something very strong, very strong. And it's going to show, and it might be something with your words. It might be something 
like you got to be careful with your words or something. It's something here that has activated because it's a weapon. It's a weapon that's going to be used to defeat this demon, this devil, whoever the fuck this is. I don't know who it is, but this toxic shit for them to be coming out last as the last card. You have been given this for a reason and you will become aware of why and how and what and all types of shit. You will be aware of it, but it is coming for somebody. It's it's your power. It's coming. Let me get something here with this. We have strength and guidance and we have ask and receive. You might be given the power of the tongue or something like that. I don't know exactly, but there is something physical that's going to happen. It's going to show you. I don't know what power you about to be given, but you about to know that shit is about to be fucking activated. It's going to hit you like a damn comment. I don't know. I don't know. It might be different for everybody, but y'all got to read between the lines. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.